Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. The FCI's breed standard for the Cane Corso reads as follows. A brief historical summary. The Cane Corso's direct ancestor is the old Roman Molossian. Formerly scattered all over Italy in recent past, the breed was only prevalent in the province of Apulia and in the adjacent regions of southern Italy. His name derives from the Latin cohors, which means protector, guardian of the farmyard. General Appearance Medium to large-sized, robust and sturdy dog, nevertheless with some elegance. Lean and powerful muscles. Important Proportions the dog is rectangular in outline and is slightly longer than tall. The length of the dog is 11% greater than the height of the dog. The length of the head reaches 36% of the height at the withers. Behavior Temperament Guardian of property, family, and livestock. Extremely agile and responsive. In the past, it has been used for herding cattle and hunting big game. Head Large and typically molossoid. The upper longitudinal axis of the skull and the muzzles are slightly convergent, without evident wrinkles. Cranial region. Skull. Broad at the zygomatic arches. The width is equal to the length. Convex in front, it becomes flat behind the forehead as far as the occiput. The medial frontal furrow is visible, beginning at the stop and ending at about the middle of the skull. Stop. Well defined, with prominent frontal sinuses. Facial region. Nose, black. A gray mask may have a nose color of the same nuance. Large nose with ample open nostrils. Nose placed in the same line as a nasal bridge. Muzzle, strong. Square, noticeably shorter than the skull. Ratio, muzzle to skull, approximately 1 to 2. The front part of the muzzle is flat. The lateral surfaces are parallel. The muzzle is as broad as it is long. Seen from the side, it is deep. The profile of the nasal bridge is straight. Lips. The upper lips, seen from the front, form an inverted U at the meeting point. Seen from the side, hangs moderately. They cover the lower jaw and determine the profile of the lower part of the muzzle. Jaws. Teeth. Jaws are very thick and curved, slightly undershot but no more than 5 millimeters. Level bite tolerable but not sought after. Cheeks. The masseter region is fully evident, but not bulging. Eyes. Medium-sized, slightly protruding, but never exaggerated. Close to ovoid in shape, set well apart in an almost subfrontal position. Eyelids close-fitting. The color of the iris is as dark as possible, but according to the coat color. Expression is keen and attentive. Ears. Triangular, drooping, of medium size, with a wide set on that is much above the zygomatic arches. Ears are uncropped. Neck, strong, muscular, and as long as the head. Body, the body is somewhat longer than the height at the withers, sturdy built but not square. Withers, pronounced, rising above the level of the croup. Back, straight, very muscular and firm. Loin, short and strong. Croup, long and wide, slightly inclined. Chest, well developed, all through reaches to the elbow. Tail, natural, set on fairly high, very broad at the root, in action carried high, but never erect or curled. Limbs, four quarters, shoulder, long, oblique, very muscular. Upper arm, strong. Forearm, straight, very strong. Carpus, or the wrist, elastic. Metacarpus, or pastern, elastic and just slightly sloping. Forefeet, cat feet. Hindquarters, thigh, long, broad, back line of thigh convex. Lower thigh, strong, not fleshy. Stifle, or knee, solid, moderately angulated. Hock joint, moderately angulated. Metatarsis, or rear pastern, thick, and dry. Hind feet, slightly less compact than the forefeet. Gait, movement, long stride, extended trot. The preferred gait is the trot. Skin, fairly thick, rather close fitting. Coat, hair, short, shiny, very dense with a slight undercoat of vitreous texture. Color, 
black, lead gray, slate gray, light gray, light fawn, dark fawn and stag red, dark wheat color, stripes on different shades of fawn or gray. In fawn colored and bindle dogs, the black or gray mask on the muzzle should not go beyond the line of the eyes. A small white patch on the chest, on the tip of the toes and on the bridge of the nose is acceptable. Size and Height Height at the withers, males 64 cm to 68 cm. Females 60 cm to 64 cm, with a tolerance of 2 cm, more or less taller. Weight Males 45 to 50 kg, females 40 to 45 kg. Weight according to the size of the dog. Faults Any departure from the foregoing points should be considered a fault and the seriousness with which the fault should be regarded should be in exact proportion to its degree and its effect upon the health and welfare of the dog and its ability to perform its traditional work.